Hello everyone, Alex Allwright is here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use Rig tools in Allwright Rig 2.0. Again, I'm using Allwright Rig examples project that you can download from Allwright Rig documentation page. I'm gonna go to characters, kite demo and I'm gonna add boy character to the scene. Now let's load kite rig preset and create rig. Rig category was described in Allwright Rig basics and phase rig tutorials, links below. Now let's create simple animation. First of all we need to add level sequencer. Right mouse button, animation, level sequence. Let's name it ls anim test. Double click to open sequence editor. Select any controller, press S to add key. Go to next frame, change position, press S. Another frame, change position, press S. Adjust animation lens and click play. If you cannot select controllers, make sure that under settings allow translucent selection is on. Also, if your character doesn't move when you move controllers, make sure that real time is on. Once we have our animation, we can bake it to anima set. Select controller, bake to anima set. Choose name and location and click OK. Let's look what we got. Here is our animation. Sometimes you may find that animation doesn't look the same. In this case you need to open your skeleton, enable retargeting options and make sure that all bones are set to retargeting animation mode. Click save. Now let's go to our asset and play animation again. Now you can see that hand position is fixed. Back to anima set command has few settings. Let's go back to our sequencer, select controller, and if you want your new animation asset to appear right in sequence editor, you can choose update source. Back to anima set. Now we can delete rig. During deletion process system will check if any controller has animation in level sequencer. For example, in our case it's pelvis controller animation. Choose delete rig. Also system will ask if I want to leave this actor animation in sequencer. If we will choose delete animation data, all controllers animation data will be lost. If we want to keep animation data, rig will be deleted, but actor references and case will still be in the sequencer. Let's see what happens if we will keep animation data. So first of all, if update source feature was enabled, we have our baked animation in the level sequencer. Let's delete this animation. Also, we still have our pelvis controller reference. It means that we can create rig again, save level, close sequencer, open level again, let's choose save selected, and open level sequencer again, and choose fix actor references. So this is how you can recover your animation, for example, if you need to change some settings in rig preset and recreate rig again. Also in bake to anim settings you can choose delete rig. In this case after baking to anima set, let's choose delete rig, let's choose delete animation data, you will have only your animation asset in level sequence editor. We can also bake animation from sequencer to the rig. Let's delete this animation sequence, add boy scale mesh to the sequencer, add animation track. Let's choose shot 20 boy and let's also add another animation. Let's choose shot 360 boy. In level sequencer you can blend your animations if you will drag them on each other. Let's look. Maybe it just blending a little bit. Select character and choose bake from sequencer. Now our animation is baked to the rig. After baking to the rig, all FK IK controllers are set to FK mode. Let's set IK for legs. Now we can adjust animation for example for pelvis controller. Let's delete few K frames and edit animation. 
press S. And we can bake this animation to scalable mesh again. Bake to anima set. Delete rig. Delete animation data. Now we have one merged animation as set instead of two with edited animation. Let's delete boy character and work a little bit with mannequin skeleton. Load man rig preset. Go to level sequencer, add mannequin skeletal mesh and add third person walk cycle animation sequence. Let's bake this animation to the rig. Let's say I want my character to move forward during walk animation. Select main controller, go to zero key, delete existing animation, press S, go to last key, move controller, press S. Let's also change tangents modes to liner. If I will bake this animation to anima set, I will get this animation. Character will walk on the place. So if I want to bake movement of main controller, I need to enable zero root property. Open sequencer, select controller, bake to anima set again. Open anima set. Now I have my main controller animation baked to the rig. You might think that I just made root motion animation. Let's show character bones. Now we can see that it's not true. In root motion animation, root bone needs to move forward. And if I want to make root motion animation, I need to create a special controller for the root bone. Let's go to the rig settings. Let's delete our rig. Delete rig, delete animation data, go to modular rig data, custom controllers, and I will insert new item here. Open settings. Bone name will be root bone. It will be parented to the main controller. But also I need to edit my pelvis controller settings. I need to parent pelvis controller to this root controller. Right now we will not see our root controller in the list. We need to recreate rig in order to see it. Let's create rig and let's check if we have our root controller. Here it is. And again we need to parent this controller to our root controller. Parent controller for pelvis controller will be root controller. Let's recreate the rig. Now when I will move my root controller, I can see that IK controllers stand still. Let's go to post parent controllers and add one item here. As part controller I need to choose root controller and add four items to child controllers. If I want to parent this controller to root controller, I need to specify group of this controller, which will be hand R I K group. Hand R I K group. Same for left. Hand L I K group. Same for foot. Foot L I K group. And foot R I K group. Let's recreate the rig. Now when I will move my root controller, all my character will move except pole vector controllers. Pole vector controller has attached to IK property. In this case, pole vector controller will be attached to IK controller. So I can go to FK IK rig data. And here I have attach PV to IK property. For this case, I can simply type attach in search box and enable those properties. Let's recreate the rig. Select root controller, all rig 
is attached to root controller as well as to main controller. Now let's delete rig and bake from sequencer. You can see that main controller is now in the origin of the scene. It's because of zero root property. It works in both direction, when you bake to anima set and when you bake from sequencer as well. So when you bake from sequencer, zero root property will let you to leave main controller at zero position while your character may be somewhere else. Let's disable this property and recreate rig again. Delete rig, delete animation data, bake from sequencer. And now we are ready to adjust our root motion animation. Let's select controller, remove case, press S, move, press S, set liner tangent interpolation. We can also go to curve editor, select location curve and adjust this key a little bit. Let's go back to default mode and let's bake animation to animation a set again. In this case, we can see that we have root motion animation. Okay, now let's look at update from source feature. Let's say I don't need to edit all character animation, I just need to adjust head bone rotation. In this case, I don't need to bake animation to the wall rig. I can bake animation to the head controller only. Let's delete rig, delete rig, delete animation data, and let's remove all rig settings. I'm going to add custom controller for root bone and another custom controller for head bone. Let's create rig. I just need to parent head controller to root bone controller. Parent controller, root controller. Let's delete rig and bake from sequencer. At first you can see weird animation, but if I will enable update from source feature, I will get animation from source animation sequence and all right rig controllers will only override corresponding bones or limbs, any modules. Let's modify the animation. I want to change rotation curve. I'm gonna delete all case except start and end frame and I will add custom rotation to head. S. Now we have this animation. If you want to compare all right rig controllers animation with source animation, you can enable show source. And here you can see both animations. Let's disable show source and bake to anima set. Here is our animation. Sometimes you might have this weird pose in first frame. It might happen because before baking, current frame was not zero. In this case, you might need to set zero current frame and let's bake again. Now everything looks great. Okay, now let's take a look at controllers category. Let's reload man preset and recreate rig again. Delete animation data, rig. In FK IK limp module you can switch between FK and IK controllers using FK IK controller and FK IK property. You can set FK position for arm and blend to IK. Sometimes you may need those controllers to be aligned all the time. You can use FK IK auto snap feature for that. Now FK and IK controllers will be aligned all the time. Unfortunately, right now FK IK auto snap feature cannot override sequencer animation. It means if your controller has case, sequencer animation will override 
FKIK feature. But it can be useful if you want to attach something to ARM. You can attach something to any FK controller and while you are animating AK, FK positions will be updated in real time. Again, if FK controllers will not have animation. But if you want to use FKIK snapping with animation, you can use snap FKIK command in controllers category. Let's go to another frame and create case for FK controllers. To another frame. So now we have this animation for FK controllers and if we will switch to IK controllers, we will have this animation for IK controllers. I can also animate FK IK blending parameter. Set key. Let's go to another frame. Change property. Set key. And here I will have IK animation in the beginning. Then I will have blending to FK animation. However, if I want in frame 20 IK controllers to be snapped to FK controllers, I need to select FK IK controller, set 20 in snap FK IK frame property, and press snap FK IK button. I can see that new keyframe appeared in frame 20 for IK controller. Let's check if it is aligned. So now we can see that hand IK controller has also animation and it's perfectly aligned with FK controllers. Sometimes I need to set case for all controllers or change some property for all controllers. I can use select all controllers command in order to do this. For example, by default, if I will simulate the game, I will not see my controllers. Again, select any controller, select all controllers command, and let's disable actor hidden in game property. Now I can see all my controllers in game. If you want to show only selected controllers, you can use isolate selected feature. Again, if you want to see all controllers, you can select any of them and switch isolate selected off. All right, now let's take a look at pose library category. Using pose library, you can save and assign poses to your rig. Let's name this pose left arm up, press enter, save pose. We can also reset pose using reset pose command. You can find save poses in assigned pose drop box. Let's choose left arm up. You can also transfer poses between characters that have the same preset. Because pose lib data stores in the preset. Let's add another mannequin. Create rig. Select controller. And assign left arm pose. Save pose command saves all controllers positions for current preset. But if you want to assign pose only to selected controllers, you can use assign to selected checkbox. Let's create another pose. Name it arms up. Save pose. Reset pose. Enable assign to selected. Select only one IK controller and assign new arms up pose. You can manage your poses using pose lib array. Under presets category, you can find selection info category. Here you can see some data about selection and sequencer. So basically that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please join all right rig discord for faster feedback and support. We'll see you there. Have a good day. Bye bye.